Welcome to another episode of TNT with myself, Tyler Patner, and Travis Patton from Airgun Depot. Today we're going to be talking all about airgun hunting. Is it going to continue to grow in the U.S.? Are we going to see more states adopt it? Things of that nature. And we're also going to talk about air bolts versus slugs. What's the better hunting method and what should you be using out in the field? So will big boar air gun hunting become more popular? A uh, duh, of course. Yeah. Um, we're already seeing it happen. A lot more states just in the last two years have really jumped on that bandwagon, uh, putting air gun specific regs on their books uh, and really opening that up. And I think um, one of the reasons for that has been that, that hunting in general is on a little bit of a decline right now. Uh, in the U.S. So states are looking at different ways that they can get hunters back out into the field or get more people hunting. And obviously uh, there are a lot of air guns out there, so that's a way to do it. I mean, the state's really interested in doing this because that's where all their nature conservation money comes from. Yep. I mean, you can't preserve the outdoors if you don't have people hunting. It's, a, it's kind of, in some people's mind, it's a strange paradox. Yeah, a little bit. Right, I mean, but the hunters are the ones who are supporting the animals and, and actually caring about the population. And all that's managed through conservation money and, exactly. and so forth. Um, and the regs are pretty good overall, but some states, I think, are, 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 might be shooting themselves in the foot a little bit. How so? Well, I think they're setting up, you know, like, uh, you'll know better which states uh, do this, but uh, where they just have like a caliber uh, Oh, sure, 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 sure. If yeah. it's 30 caliber yeah. or higher. Yeah. Um, uh, there, there are a couple states, sure, that, that have just kind of done the bare minimum uh, to put air gun hunting out there. And, and quite frankly, I mean, this we may disagree on this, but uh, for me, I'm okay with that because it's at l the very least opening the door. Now, for you as a hunter... But I don't want that door to get closed. No, I agree with that 100%. So the states and then the departments of wildlife and conservation, whatever a given state has, like I, Travis and I are talking about, I, I believe it's like North Carolina, South Carolina, and Alabama have uh, what I would consider semi-loose uh, air gun hunting laws for big game at least. Um, and, and by that we mean there's really just a caliber restriction. There's nothing, there's no energy limits or anything like that. Um, so for me, a lot of it comes down to as a hunter, I want the most power I can get to do the job as effectively as I can. So I'm not gonna go out with something I believe to be borderline, if that makes sense. You know, I, I'm okay with, um, if, if the state requires 215 foot pounds of energy uh, between your projectile weight and your, uh, you know, muzzle velocity, right? Uh, Texas is the example of using 215 foot pounds. I'm doing it with an air bolt. If, if it's allowed, right? Because uh, I, that 215 foot pounds is gonna get me a lot of cutting power and a lot of bloodletting, where 215 foot pounds with a slug may not be as effective. So a lot of it really just comes down to you as a hunter knowing what the limitations of what you're using are. Um, but I, I get what you're saying, because that's on the states, right? Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, but it's, if you set yourself up for wounded animals, yeah. then, then there's gonna be a backlash so in, the, in that sort of a situation, like you say, it's on the hunter. Right. You know, if, if, if wounded animals start showing up, then there's going to be backlash and say, this is not, air guns can't cut it. Right. Right. So that's, that's true. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a fine line, right? If a state's willing to take a, I don't want to call it a chance, but if they're willing to give air guns a try, um, you know, for, for hunting seasons, then, yeah, I mean, you, you definitely want to make sure you're putting air guns in, in a position to look good. But it is, it is increasing and it's a great thing. It's, yeah, it's good absolutely. For, for everybody, right? I love air bolts. They are just the, an unbelievable it's, projectile. So, like, just, there are certain things that have come about that are just absolute game changers. And from a hunting perspective, to me, that was a massive game changer. Um, to have roughly the same energy as a slug does out of something like a dragon claw, but to do it with a broad head on the front of it and to do it with just as good, if not better accuracy, that's sick. I mean, it's just, from having now used it and seen what it can do in the field on something as tough as a feral hog is just like, I have literally no doubts about that on anything. 
you know, and, and you got guys that have gone over to Africa and taken Cape Buffalo with that. Yeah. So it, it works. I mean, when when energy fails, put a knife blade on, on the end of your projectile and watch it go. Yeah, I mean, you're getting more power than any cross, well, than any... Uh, Crossbows, for sure. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it any, is, it is. Than any compound bow. Yeah, for, all, than, for far. Than, uh, than any crossbow. Yep. I mean, it's just incredibly powerful, and you're and you're making a, you know, now a wound channel three three of them, you know, covering that that big of an area. Yeah, absolutely. It's just lethal, especially because air guns, at least at this point in time, from an energy perspective, don't really develop hydrostatic shock. You know, you're not getting the same effect you do with a firearm when you go and yeah, you're and just looking tag inside an the hole. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you're you're praying that bullet bouncing around inside and cutting stuff up and, and doing its job, and and oftentimes it does. But um, really, to me, the air bolt leaves no doubt. I mean, it is just absolutely. And, and they can be, you know, Chris Turk shot a, did, sure. did the uh, air gun golf challenge, you know, the long ranger challenge mm -hmm. at 150 yards yeah. with an air bolt. Yeah. I mean, it's just nuts. They're pretty darn accurate. And now you have uh, the 45 and the 35 calibers as well. So there's a lot more options out there, uh, you know, and a lot more calibers making it viable for other guns. It's huge. I mean, I, it, to me, for big game hunting, no brainer, air bolts all the way. Yeah, now air bolts are, are for those who are watching who don't really know what this sure, is, man. they fit inside the barrel. They've right. got like a rubber plug or something on the end that, yeah. that, that seals it. Yep. Um, FX has uh, arrow kits. Yep. And these come with a barrel that you switch out, and then you put the arrow over the barrel. Right. And so they're, they're really close to kind of a standard arrow. Right, it's the same kind of concept as the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow, yeah. which uh, also a really great gun. And, and again, those are still very viable. It's just, from a projectile perspective, I think the point, right, is that, is that an arrow, if it can produce the same energy and velocity as a pellet or a slug in that particular gun, is going to be way more lethal because we're not even close to a place uh, of being near what a firearm does in terms of damage to game. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you take something even like the Ranchero Arrow. Sure. Yeah, you know, which a is little pistol. Which is a little pistol, yep. shoots a little bolt like this, and it still has about the same amount of energy as, as like a 40 or 50 pound bow. Yeah. I mean, sure. really crazy in such a small little pistol like that. So. Absolutely. So a lot of fun stuff out there. Yeah, but air bolts all the way. Go buy some. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of TNT. Let us know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Do you think air gun hunting is going to grow? What would you take out into the field? An air bolt or would you be shooting, you know, big bore slugs? What do you guys think? Let us know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels. We appreciate you guys watching. Need to keep this thing going. So make sure you don't miss any of the content. And as always, if you like today's video, hit us with a like. We appreciate it a ton. Keeps us going. We'll see you at the next one.